Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome back to another episode. I do not want to save right now. <laughs> welcome back to another episode. That was no easy day, but we got some great photos. He's talking about the wild dogs from last time. Tomorrow we'll start early. Let's get some rest. Yeah, you're not going to let me go out. We can actually look and uh, see my crappy B shot. I'm so, I'm so sad about that. One grade B. Oh well. 15 days and 16 missions this isn't too bad. Photos taken, 586. Ranking zebra. Day four, hunter sighted. The cheetah looked so lithe, so graceful as it tore after the gazelle at 60 miles an hour. You could just sense how alive it was. When I showed James the photo, he, was, he had the usual things to say. Wow, incredible. All in a pretty decent day, if you ask me. I hear cheetahs often fail to catch their prey. Boy, when I'm lucky, I'm lucky. A trunk full of love. How my heart leapt when I saw those African elephants. And that wasn't today's only moving episode. A baby elephant was having trouble getting up a ledge. So one of the grown-ups lent it a helping trunk. I guess with bodies that big, they ought to have a pretty big hearts too. The Kaboko Swamp is paradise for wildlife. Quite a few wild birds flock to the wetlands there. Day 13. Trap cam troubles. A special trap cam arrived from today from head office to help me with today's target. The new camera let me trigger the shutter from afar without rousing the meerkat's suspicion. Let me tell you, it wasn't easy. You have to sit there, still as a rock, and snap the photo on intuition alone. Good photos take patience. Blowing my top around the wildlife won't exactly convince them to cooperate. Yeah, that's when I get kind of impatient. Wild dog versus the impala. Sure, it's no cheetah, but the impala is still pretty darn fast. I would never have dreamed that African dog could muster the speed to catch it. Nonetheless, the hunter's extraordinary stamina won out and it picked off its prey. That African wild dog was so busy chasing down the impala that it didn't take any notice of our car. Hey, there's my National Geographic. And there's my bull, my African buffalo. Nice. Let's go to sleep. You gonna tell me to check my email? Good morning, Robin. Be sure to check your email. Thanks, Eric. I will be sure to do that. Ooh, new lens and snock. snock. <laughs> Dear Robin, thanks for your continued business. Today's product is a hot seller. We have a tough time keeping on our shelves. Interchangeable lens. Check out that Zoom. Visit the Pro Shop for more details. Let's get that. Ooh, new area. Map data for Lake Hero. You're doing fantastic work, Robin. Thanks to you, we've managed to fin up, finish up Corora Gorge for the time being. Your new research area is Lake Hero. We know flamingos inhabit the lake, but the surrounding forests are still one big question mark. Please start researching this new area for us. Uh, let's get the new lens. A new map came in from head office. The, the map shows a small mountain near a lake hero. <laughs> so he's gonna drive again, so I'll see you guys there soon. I'll drive us to lake hero, hop in. All right, see you guys soon. All right, we finally made it, oh my goodness. I think that was like six minutes of driving. This is the way to Lee Kiro. Let's go. Rowing, maybe? Lake Kiro. So that's Lake Kiro. It's larger than I expected. Let's go a little further. More Impala! Flamingos! Lesser Flamingos. They are a bit interesting to get on film, I can tell you that much. From 
here one could climb Mount Hakuna Matata. You could probably get a panoramic view of Lee Kiro from up top. Alright, but let me let me back in for a moment, because usually Oh, is there no guys on here? Usually those little rainbow Agnola or whatever are up, are up here. Try climbing the small mountain. Alright, we're gonna do that. You guys aren't here. Hmm, interesting. Normally the lizards are there. Mount Hakuna Matata. Alright, we're gonna take take a lovely... We're gonna take a lovely little brisk walk up here. And we're also gonna look at these guys. The Hyrax. Which I can't entirely remember what they're related to. Did you turn out? Yes, you turned out. That's good. Oh, I can even get closer. Hey, buddy. I wonder if I can get up. I don't really need too many crazy shots of, of him. And there's more Hyrax here. Cute little Hyrax, wherever they are. What? We're gonna take a trap or a trap cam. Yeah, trap cam setting. We're gonna take it right here. Oopsies. That should be good. And we're going to take a picture of ourselves. Oh my gosh. If I can actually... <laughs> uh, I think that's right. Alright. Snap photo, snap photo. Let's move over a tiny bit because knowing me... Alright, that should be good. Nice. Look at how serious I look. This one will be great. I mean, it doesn't show the flamingos as nicely as this one. Eh, well, maybe we'll, we'll use this one. Let's head on back down, and I will see you guys there shortly. That impala came out of nowhere. You guys all saw it. All of baboons up here. If I can get one in my sights. Come on. Oh, seriously, Eric? You're really not gonna say anything? I gotta get closer. There we go. Oh, there are all of baboons over there. Yes, there are. Actually, let's take a picture of these guys as well. Since we gotta put them in our photography catalog. Out of the way, baboon. These guys are some of my favorites. Bushbucks. They are adorable. We'll get some pictures of them soon. Dicky Dicky Fountain. Slowing down. Gate tree. 
This is way to ruin my fun game. guys as well. Helmeted guinea fowl. Alright, so the only one I didn't get was the uh, dick dick, unfortunately. Bunch of hippos. These guys we've seen before. Still not exactly true to Africa since they should get completely uh, submersed. Otherwise they get horrible sun cans and die. Ooh. <laughs> Did your hand slip? Stay focused, okay? Yeah, we can go home for today. I'm not going to bore with you guys with uh, sending in all the animals, and I'm going to do that now. For these ones, it doesn't really matter about uh, what you get, because it's just basically a catalog. Alright, let's see what's next. Ooh, gun mic on the way. Uh, urgent. Uh, we'd like to see a rainbow-colored lizard. Tetsi Inc. Advertising Department. Hi, this is Bill Tabor at Tetsi Inc., one of your project's backers. How's the survey going? Well, your camera kind of sucks. I have a request for you while your team is on site there. Could you take a photo of a rainbow agama? It's a small reptile adorned with red and blue. Not that I've ever seen one. I certainly would like to, though. Their rainbow bodies must be beautiful. Interesting. It doesn't really look like that in the game. Uh... Urgent, African elephant's powerful roar. We are currently producing a documentary and we need a sound sample of an elephant's powerful roar. Is that something you could record for us? I heard African elephants with long, magnificent tusks frequent Kaboko Swamp. Please get us a sample of one of their mighty blats for us. You should receive an email separately about recording equipment. Thanks, sorry for the trouble. Aw, oh, you're so apologetic. Oh, this is, these are the next two. All right, these are after this true villain of the animal kingdom is decided. Our next issue story will be out the, about the villains. Which animal do you think is the worst of the bunch, Robin? There's a spotted hyena, the vulture, the crocodile. So many bad guys to choose from. My vote goes to the marabou stork. It has such an evil looking mug. Could you get me a close up of its face? I've never actually done that before. Interesting. Gun mic set on the way. Head office is sending you new equipment. The gun mic set is a, is a directional microphone that comes in very handy when you want to record animal calls. Just be careful not to make any noise yourself while recording. Awesome. And let's make sure that we actually accept that mission. Okay, accept this mission. All right. Well, that should be good. Robin, the sound recording equipment arrived. Did you read the email? We've got to use the gun mic to record the trumpet of an elephant. Let's head to Kaboko Swamp and find the elephants. Upsetting them just a tiny bit, just a bit, may result in a more dramatic recording. Let's do that. All right, we're at the swamp. What I wouldn't give for another week out at Kruger National Park and um, Botswana, which is what this area basically is. All right, so we need to find The king or queen. African elephants, actually. I forgot to say this last episode. Uh, I think that's you. Um, males and females both have tusks. Oh, there you are. Well, thank you, camera, for pointing him out to me. Approach the leader of the herd and press the 
uh, circle button to uh, record the gun mic. Oops. Out we go. Yes, my dear, I'm sorry. Uh, as a general rule, males do not stay with the herd. Down. Get down. Oh my gosh. Really? Why can't I get down? There we go. My boyfriend has been destroying... Oops. A little too close. My boyfriend has been destroying these PlayStation controllers while I'm not, uh around. Uh, oh! Hello, uh, cattle egret. Are you gonna... I don't want you to, like... I don't want to upset you, but I want you to, like, see me, buddy. No, not you! Stop it! Oh, this all would have been way easier if I'd been able to sit down. Oh, there we go. This should work. Oh. Whoa, that was weird. I've never had that happen before. Why have you forsaken me, Gun Mike? Jeepers! Well, this is gonna be a lot of editing out. Give me a nice one. <laughs> Only took like a minute and change. All right. Wonderful. Let's get out of here. I was almost going to try for one of these um, crown cranes, but oh, I think these are all cattle egrets here for the moment. All right, let's, uh, we're going to go to Lake Hero. Oh, dang it, there's one of those cranes, too. Saw them at last minute. And get ourselves a real close-up of a marabou stork. There's some marabou storks that are going to be coming at some point. I got such a nice one last season. Or last season, last, uh, last playthrough. Really nice storks. The magazine company would be proud. Oh, there are some big shadows there, which is a good sign. So let's hope that uh, let's hope that they land. Please, that would be awesome. Screw it. I'll do it. I'll take a chance. We'll try in this bush. See if he comes down. Now, of course, I've lost him completely. Ah, poop sticks. I guess this is a good place to get Impala. <gasps> oh, shit! No, don't go away. No, old man. Come back here. No! Oh, poop. Alright, well, we can also get one of these guys, which we need. Oh, <laughs> I was fooling around with an Impala and I missed my chance.
Wow. That sucks. And they're a little overexposed. All for Impala shots. Oh well. There's always next time. I think that's the male Impala coming behind us. Oh! <laughs> turn around, buddy. Please turn around. Turn around. Oh, there you fly off. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. I was not expecting that. Ah, uh, that one's not too bad. Turn around, please. Please turn around. Yes! But, but, bushes. Bushes. No bushes. <laughs> oh, God. I hate to be a defeatist, but I'm thinking of going back. Yep, I'm doing it. Doing it. I don't care enough. All right, let's send. First things first is the elephant's powerful roar. Sound data, we're sending it through mail, even though we got an email. Elephant voice. 80 and 160 gigs. That's interesting. <laughs> Wonder what that is. All right, we're also going to send ourselves. Oh, wow, that's a really close shot. We're also going to email. Oh, one of these. I know flowers are not a thing. I think that's my best bet, though. Let's try it. Angle. Target. Distance. Technique. Ah, I don't think the shower, the flower should have worked, but hey, man, if it works. Now let's do Impala Harem, and we'll do. Ah, I wish I'd gotten a better one of him. That's kind of a cheap shot. Let's do this one. Yay! Alright, I think that's it. Stunning crowns, yeah. What's this one? Ah, baboon. All right, let's take uh, next episode. Next episode, everyone, because I spent two days in the Kiroko, Kiroko, or uh, not Kiroko Gorge, um, Lake Hero, trying to get that silly, silly stork, and I couldn't get it. So we will see you guys next time and continue on the quests. So look forward to the flamingos next because they are. Pretty difficult, about the same as the storks. So thanks for tuning in. I hope to guys to see you guys again soon. Bye bye for now.